friends welcome to unix programming tutorials in this class we are going to discuss about the stream editor scd scd is a stream editor for filtering and transforming text scd is one of the most powerful filter it stands for stream editor so what is the purpose of the scd command is it is used for filtering and transforming text so despite its name editing it does not modify the original file it reads the standard input that means you can read the data from from a keyboard or a file and processes it using a separate file scd script and writes the result to the standard output a set script is a file containing a list of instructions to be applied to each line in the input file okay so what it means so for example the file is sample the file name is sample so this is the file in this there are four lines let us assume there are four lines now you write one script what is the script the script is nothing but here there is a command or instruction or some pattern now this command is applied on each line in the file it applied on first line so after that second after that third so after that fourth with this command or pattern match with this line now this line is going to print on monitor the syntax is scd options you can do the script and input file that means now you can apply this script on each line in this input file now we can discuss with some examples so now we see the examples so this is the file name sample the sample file contains unix is great os unix is open source unix is free os in this three times other small letters. So learn operating system. Unix, Linux. Which one you choose? Unix. Unix is easy to learn. Unix is a multi-user OS. Learn Unix. Unix is powerful. So four times Unix. Okay. So this is the sample file. Now we are going to apply SCD command on this sample file. Inserting line. I want to insert a line in this sample file. So, for example, I want to insert hello. Hello is a first line in sample. How? Yes, you did. So, this is the script you are going to write. In single quotations, you are going to give the instruction. So, what is the instruction? One I. I means insert. One means insert as a first line. So, what is the content? hello sample now what is the expected output the first line is hello next line unix is great os learn operating system unix linux linux okay we can see exact outputs when we execute these commands so similarly 3i so 3i means now hello is inserted as a 1 2 3 here hello okay inserting lines I want to insert more than one line. At that time, we are going to use slash n. Slash n means new line. So, one i means first it insert hello. Then, slash n means go to next line. Next, friends. And remaining as same, unix is get OS like this. Okay. So, similarly, 3i. So, 3i means it insert as a third line. So, hello is the third line. So, friends is the fourth line. Why we are using slash n. So next one, SCD as a script. So here we are giving the directly the instructions. Script instruction. Now instead of that, I store this instruction in one file. So for example, this is the instruction. 3i hello slash and friends. So that is inserted in one file. The file name is pattern. Now I use this pattern file as a SCD script. How? SCD use hyphen f so hyphen f is an option for you are indicating that the next one is script the pattern is the script and the file name is sample now now what is in the pattern in the pattern there is a so 
a slash hello slash and friends now this is inserted as a third line and hello slash and means new line the fourth line is friends and it is displayed on monitor the next one so replacing or substituting string i want to replace unix with linux at the time i am going to use yes yes cd in single quotations we are going to give yes yes means substitute so unix with linux the file name is sample now in each line there is a unix now this unix is changed as a linux linux is a gateway os unix is open source unix is free os only the first occurrence will be substituted with linux remaining as same as unix only in second line there is no unix in third line unix so it is also changed as a linux this is also the first occurrence is changed as a unix remaining or unix only okay next one replacing nth occurrence of a pattern for example i want to change the third occurrence of unix as a linux only the third occurrence in each line at the time i am going to use yes cd yes the unix is replaced with linux at third occurrence at third occurrence the file name is sample now so this is the unix this is the first occurrence this is the second occurrence this is the third occurrence so now the unix is changed as a linux in this no unix in this only one time in this one two three at this place the unix is changed as a linux the actual file is does not modified it displayed on standard output only we don't change the actual data in the file next one replacing all the occurrences i want to replace all the unixes with linux then i am going to use std yes unix replaced with the linux and you can specify g you can specify g that means all the unix words are replaced with linux next one replacing from nth occurrence to all occurrences for example from third occurrence onwards i want to change unix as a linux now you can specify yes cd yes means substitute the unix with linux 3g g means all 3g means from third occurrence to all and the file name is sample now this is the first occurrence second occurrence from third occurrence the unix will be changed as a linux so here the linux second line no unix third line only one time so fourth line four times one two three so this is changed as a linux and the fourth one is also changed as a linux next one replacing the string on a specific line number i want to change the unix as a linux in third line only then i can use three yes yes means substitute three means in third line substitute unix with linux okay and the file name is sample now only in the third line the unix will be changed as linux so duplicating the replaced line so duplicating the replaced line with slash p slash so that means we are going to print the replaced lines two times yes cd so yes means substitute the unix with linux so p means it displays two times so duplicating the replaced lines and the file name is sample so what is the word the unix is substituting with linux so so here the unix is substituting with linux so it prints two times so there is no unix so it prints only one time third line also print two times so fourth line also prints two times next one so printing only replace line only replace line so that means if i substitute unix with linux now it prints only the replace line so that means first one is replaced so it is print on standard output second line there is no unix so no replacement so it does not display on standard output so third line will display so fourth line also display so how yes cd you are going to use option hyphen n yes means substitute unix with linux and the file name is sample replacing the 
string on a range of lines. So for example, I want to change, substitute unix with line x from first line to third line. Then I can give yes, cd 1,3. That means these are the line numbers. I am going to substitute up to 1 to 3 only. Unix with line x and the same bit. Now this unix is changed as a line x and the third line unix is changed as a line x. Next, to delete a particular line. I want to delete the second line. Then I can write SED 2D. D means delete. The file name is sample. 2D means delete second line. To delete last line. So how we can delete the last line? By using dollar. SED dollar D. D means delete. Dollar D means last line. The file name is sample. So actually we are not deleting these lines on actual file. To delete line from range x to y. So I want to delete the lines 2 to 3. Then I can give SED 2,3 D. D means delete 2 to 3 lines on the sample. If I give 4, then it delete 2, 3, 4. To delete from nth to last line. I want to delete from second line to last line. Then I can give 2 dollar D. Dollar means last. So SED to dollar t the file name is sample to delete pattern matching line i want to delete if the pattern is matched with unix then i can give yes cd what is the pattern the pattern is unix d means delete and the sample so that means if the unix pattern is matched with any line that line will be deleted and present on the standard output now so what is the set set is a Stream editor. Stream editor. The purpose of the SED is so filtering or transforming the test. We see insert. For insert, we are going to use I, S for substitute, and D for delete. The important point is when you are inserting the lines or substituting the words or delete the words or delete the lines, these changes not made on original file. So now we are going to see execution of std command. For that we are going to use one file. The file name is sample. Now we are going to apply different std commands. So first one inserting the lines. Std in single quotation you are going to write one i that means i want to insert hello as first line in sample file okay the hello is first line similarly scd i want to insert as a third line three i so now if you observe that this is the third line so now i want to insert lines scd one i hello slash n friends and the file name is sample okay hello friends hello is the first line so friends is second line two lines and similarly i want to insert these hello and friends as a third line so now hello is third line friends is fourth line so now we see how to use script pattern so this is the pattern I stored in pattern file. Now SCD so hyphen F the SCD script is pattern and the file name is sample. Same output. Okay. So next one replacing or substituting string. This is the file sample. Now I want to replace line X with Unix. SCD. So how we can substitute? Yes. And the pattern is Unix is replaced with Linux. Look okay, and the file name is sample. Okay, if you observe that all the first occurrences of Unix is changed as a Linux. The second occurrence, third occurrence does not change. Okay, I want to change the nth occurrence, only third occurrence. Then I can give three here. Three. Now only the third occurrence will be changed. Line X, 
so this is also third occurrence of unix so it is changed as a line x now i want to change all the occurrences all the occurrences then i can give g now all the unix are replaced with line x i want to replace unix with line x from third occurrence onwards from third occurrence onwards at the time we are going to use 3g now it changes the unique says line x from third occurrence these are the first two occurrences so it does not change so this is the third occurrence so line x in this the line x and the fourth occurrence is also changed as a line x so replacing the string on a specific line number on a specific line number how i want to change the unique says line x in third line only in third line that means this is the third line so line x unix is changed as a line x now we see so duplicating the replace line with slash p flag so only replace lines by using slash p so now you, you observe only the replace lines will be displayed twice so this is the learn operating system only one time so why here there is no substitution there is no unix word so printing only the replaced line only the replaced line then we can use so hyphen n hyphen n substitute the unix with line x slash p sample now it displays only replaced lines only replaced lines only three lines okay so this is not the fourth line powerful it is also continuation to the third line so replacing string on a range of lines on a range of lines so here this is the only third line now 1 2 3 1 3 it's so now replaced from 1 2 3 lines the unix is replaced with line x only the first occurrence now we see so deleting lines from a particular Five cat sample. So now I want to delete second line. Yes, C D two D. And the file name is sample. Second line will be deleted. To delete last line, last line dollar. Okay, it shows only first three lines. To delete line from range x to y. So two two three. For example, I want to delete two two three. So first and last line. If I give two two four, then it displays only first line. Delete from to delete from nth to last line. Yes, C D D. So I want to delete from second line to last line. So I can use two comma dollar D. and the file name is sample okay only the first line now i want to delete a line that matches with particular pattern so then yes you see the pattern is unique t and the file name is sample now display only one line learn operating system why so this line does not contain unique word 